welcome. I hope this finds you well and either anticipating cooking these cookies yourself or just here for the fun. Um, today I'm going to cook the Lord Esteros cookies which need um, chilling overnight so I'm going to prep them, prep it now and then put them in the fridge and come back to you tomorrow. Um, I will put a link in the description as to where you can find the written recipe. I, I might even put it in the description box but I think it's best to link back because it does look beautiful on their website. Um, it sounds like these are going to be amazing. There's a touch of spice in there, turmeric, cinnamon, ginger and some maple which is super exciting. We don't ever... This will be husband. Actually, it's not. It's even more exciting. It is a parcel for my, well, for the last member of my D&D party that's to receive uh, their gift by post. One of them will receive it in person, but that's really exciting and kind of on brand. <laughs> um, right, that's muted now. So to start, it says 420 grams of plain flour. And I'm just going to shove it in this bowl and we'll do the stirring in, in a second. I put one extra gram in because I knew I was going to do that. I, if, if you're new here and you haven't heard me talk about myself too much, um, I used to be a baker, so this is quite fun for me to do something that feels kind of very natural but in a very unnatural setting. Next we add two teaspoons of baking soda. Um, I pre-weighed everything because I didn't think it was that interesting and it was a lot easier to do it in here while I have dinner, like two different meals cooking basically. And finally we're going to add the, the spices and some salt. So I think in here is two teaspoons of cinnamon, two of ginger, half of turmeric and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I actually only just ground my cinnamon and it smells amazing. Um, oh, and the com this combination is like heaven. I might even try a version of them with some cardamom. Cardamom is one of my favourites. Um, but... And then it's as simple as just stirring this through to ensure that the bicarb and everything is mixed nicely. Oh, oh my goodness, it smells really good already. So next it is the brown sugar and butter from memory. 165 grams of butter that's just sat at room temperature and 250 grams of light brown sugar. However, I've used dark because we had it in the house and you know it will only make a slight difference to the flavor i kind of prefer dark sugar anyway so pop them into the mixer again because i have one <laughs> um, this would have been easy enough to do by hand and actually it's something that i really enjoy but since this was kind of a spur of the moment but i've been wanting to do this for a while project I'm doing it this way.
Now it is ready um, for an egg and some maple and then whizzed again until it's as fluffy as we want it really. I think I'm going to go for quite a bit of time so it says two to three minutes so I'm definitely going to go for the full three. This is my maple. And how is it that you can crack a thousand eggs with no bits? And as soon as you have to do it on camera, you first of all become nervous and second of all, you're so likely to get shell. But here you go, gonna do it on camera. Success! I'm going to go slow to begin with and then speed it up once the egg's gone a little bit combined because I don't have a top bit and I don't have a tea towel with me, which might be an error. I have to say, this smells so good already, and it's not got any of the spices in. Such a treat. We are fluffy and ready to now add in the dry ingredients, so the flour and all of that that was pre-mixed. And I'm just going to spoon it in while the mix is still running. Um, you could stop it, but I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and hope for the best. <laughs> It smells so good. Oh, it's so festive, but not. It's familiar, but not. I'm happy so far. What? We have a troublemaker, don't we? We have a little Audrey down by my feet. What? You, you ready for some dinner? Hmm? You have to wait. Yeah? Come on. Here she is, little troublemaker. What are you thinking? Is it time for your dinner? Come. So now that's ready, I'm just going to pop it in some clean film in the fridge, in a big bowl, and hopefully let the spices, uh, I want to say marinade? I can't think of the better word right now. And then also let everything solidify so they don't expand too much when they go in the fridge. Uh, so hopefully they don't expand too much as well when they go into the oven tomorrow. I'm so excited. Good morning. So we have let this sit overnight. We have our Demerara in the UK or Turbinado sugar. And we have a tray. I don't have greaseproof paper today. It's not something I often have. I do have some up here that is kind of, but I never liked how it reacted in the oven when I was baking. So I need two spoons because I don't have a cookie scoop and we're going to measure out two tablespoons of mix, six to a tray, and we're going to do that over three trays, hopefully. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to put that here for now. I'm going to probably just tear off the rest and eyeball. I'm going to 
didn't make it into a ball. This is a big amount actually. But I'm going to trust it and then just roll it in. handle it too much I guess and it says to let them cool directly on the tray so I'm gonna remember to do that today One tray done, two to go. Rolling it in the sugar reminds me of when I worked at, uh, it wasn't a bakery, it was creating all of those sweets for um, a chain, of chain, an independent chain, so three coffee shops in London. And we used to make amaretto like every week and we'd do like 180 or something. And we'd have this big box of icing sugar and roll it in and it was about the time that Frozen was big, I guess, um, and we used to do Let It Snow. Um, and it's also hard to resist the temptation to just throw, throw the sugar around. <laughs> I am a adult child. So these are going to go into the oven for about 13 to 14 minutes is what it says and at 175 degrees. I'm so excited. Let's get them in. So here they are, they're finished, they are just cooling down. I'm waiting for the final batch to finish cooking. Then I am going to get myself comfortable, get myself a hot drink. I'm thinking a 
golden milk would be the perfect accompaniment to these. And yeah, so excited. So now it is time to taste. I opted actually for a coffee. It is getting on in the day. I was gonna have a turmeric, but I feel like I need a little bit of extra pep in my step. So I have a decaf coffee that I'm not gonna taste until after I have tried this. Um, this one is particularly crackly, particularly brown. It smells good. Definitely very sweet, especially for my taste, but let's try it. I could have gone heavier with the turmeric, for me, and maybe add a bit of cardamom just for fun, but that is good, and actually, whilst I know there's a lot of sugar in there, um, I have to say, because I used the intense um, maple and the darker sugar, I think that helps. This is wicked though. The outer is really crunchy and the inner has a little bit of gooeyness still um, and I'm not sure if that's because it's still slightly warm or not but I couldn't wait any longer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will be making these again it is slightly festive slightly wintry very autumnal but I think you could have these all year round and no one would call you out for being you know in the wrong season not that I have an issue with that ever because I make mince pies all year round but yeah I am super happy with these I will be making these again I can't thank Critical Role enough for the fun they've given me I mean I wouldn't be here dressed like this if I they didn't um, and yeah, I hope that whatever you, mm. one more bit. Whether you try these or not, whether you try these or not, I hope you had a nice time here. Um, I think these could be very easily made vegan. I think a an egg replacement or a chia seed egg would work fine. Um, but yeah, I and the same with the uh, butter. You could definitely use uh, an alternative. But yeah, I think coconut would be really good actually. And instead of the turbinado sugar, you could use coconut on the outside. Mm. Just a little update, there will be changes over here, I've been slowly working and considering it for the last year or so, but I am going to change the channel to just be my name, I think it makes more sense. Um, I can't, if you've been here I know that you might be bored of me saying it, but I couldn't be more grateful for this space and the community that we've created over here. And as I have found more health and more balance with what I do, and more energy to be a bit more creative and playful. I think Heather and Hops as a name was really relevant when I started this channel, but I think it will be easier and give me a mental sense of freedom. So my current thoughts going forward are to, are to do a knitting podcast every other week, as it has been, and continue doing these slightly different quite fun for me videos and then that will allow me to hopefully in the background be working on more longer term projects and yeah I really love where it's going I love the fantasy aspect of what's been happening over here and the slightly more creative makes you know like I get to do all sorts of little, little bits like just decorating this backdrop was fun for me I'm 
And again, I'm just using what I've got in the house. It would be wicked to be at a point where I'm sort of building these things as as I go. Like I would love to paint a backdrop, but getting the space right in this house, etc. But those sort of things are things that I'd really love to do. Um, last night I made myself a little necklace choker. Uh, I used the evergreen wool from Hobby and just just knitted. Um, I'll try and go back and just count the numbers of stitches that I did and write a recipe out in case anyone wants to make one too. But it's really fun. I I just felt like Laudner would have a little bit more extraness. I was going to go out and make a wreath, but I didn't have time. Um, just I felt like this is festive enough for this occasion. Um, I really do want to be more playful going forward, so thank you so much if you're still here. Um, and yeah, I hope that whatever you get up to this week brings you joy. I hope that I get to see you again very soon. Be excellent to each other, and also don't forget to love each other. I love you. Thank you for being here. Wonky chair! Your squeaky chair. <laughs>